Hello everyone, hope you're all okay and welcome to our ch group chat with Rachel Ehring and from Wade Angela Millett and we are going to be talking about Tap Around the Clock and Rachel is going to be telling us where she came up with the idea of Tap Around the Clock and why she came up with it. Welcome Rachel, oh, Hello. thank Angela. you for joining us. Hi Angela, pleasure to be here. Um, how did I come up with TARC as I call it? Um, <laughs> Well, after when I started to do my EFT training, you, you sort of told that you don't need to know what the EFT, what the tapping points are. Um, but I found the effects so fast and so phenomenal that I wanted to actually understand what was happening and what, why it was happening, what it was connected to. Um, that's probably because of my research back, background um, of, of ITV, where I, I'm very much used to sort of delving into the background and knowing how and why things work a little bit more, rather than just accepting somebody's word for it. Um, so I went and sort of started to do my own bits of research on what, what is this tapping point, what part of the body is it connected to and why. Um, so I discovered that this was the stomach meridian. Uh, and I was also very much interested in um, the Chinese uh, clock, the Chinese acupuncture points, but I didn't really have time to sort of really delve too much in detail into learning all of that and becoming a practitioner in all of that, because mm -hmm. that's really quite complicated. Uh, and I was again very much in, in awe of Donna Eden's energy medicine, which is actually how I got into tapping. Um, so from there, I looked at the Chinese meridian clock, so you can see behind me here, there's a clock-like system, and I discovered that there's optimum times that these points work at, and um, so between, you know, optimum times and then times where it was at its weakest. So I started to put it all into the clock system to see if any of the EFT points fitted into that spectrum and discovered that within reason they did. So I, I put that into a clock system and then started to use that with my clients to explain to them because it was very obvious that a lot of the clients that were coming to me had problems at home. And those problems at home, um, those parties weren't willing to come in and work with me. But I thought, well, if they've got something at home that's a piece of paper, they can see what they can work on themselves, they might be more willing to understand what they're child, mother, son, whoever is, is working on it, gives them all an understanding. So I created these charts um, and at first it was literally just a clock with a tapping point. And then over time, I looked into it further and discovered that there were certain emotions, negative emotions that may stick in the stomach meridian, the lung meridian more than others because that's where they sort of start. Uh, and then I started to use that with my clients. Um, they liked, they liked that process. It was easy for them to understand. And when they saw something on a piece of paper, they got it. It was like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that is how I feel. And, yeah, I do feel these things in my stomach. So as they then started to talk about the physical symptoms with the emotions, I thought, oh, I need to do the physical chart now. <laughs> <laughs> the physical chart. And then eventually did a positive one. So there's now three charts. Um, I was working with my clients. They really enjoyed the fact that they had something to take home and work with. Um, and then at that point, I realized I needed to do something a little bit more in depth to explain exactly how to use it so that when they were at home, <laughs> they had a piece of paper or uh, whatever to, to work from. So I ended up developing an app uh, I'm writing, um, it was actually just a little workbook and explanation really for my clients, but it ended up being cheaper to um, publish a little book. <laughs> so yeah. I published a book, The Spiral of Life, which had my experiences as I'd started to work through this whole process of what was happening in my life to, to show how energy therapy works and how it affects your life and how it affects your relationships and how you can make peace with each sort of chapter as you're going along so it was quite a beautiful process yeah yeah it's it been beautiful 
yeah, it has been interesting like, since I started doing the top around the clock practitioners course with you and watching my journey and seeing things clear and, and me changing. So I can totally relate to what you're talking about. It's yeah. been really, really nice feeling to feel lighter as well about experiences I have gone. Yeah. So like I said, you, you developed the book. I can remember where we met. We actually met at a Mibber event, if I remember rightly. Right, it, yeah. was actually, yeah. it was actually uh, in Bury, And I think you'd just had your book published at the time when we actually met. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I would pass crossed again, yeah. quite interestingly. It was at an event at Ramsbottom Civic Hall. You remembered me, and I was like dead nervous going into this event. Oh, and, we, and, we, and we started chatting, and yeah, little bits like that. And then we, we actually went around that event together, didn't we? And mm. then you then you contacted me to ask me about and to tell me about this course, which was, I can't thank you enough because I think it's just done such a lot for me. So, yeah, and, and today what's going to happen is Angela is going to be working on Rachel with the tap around the clock. And I will sort of try to explain <laughs> if I if the, what little what bit of knowledge I've got at present. We will I will try and explain exactly what's going on. All I will say is there may be things what start happening, like laughing, crying, burping. It is all natural because it is clearing the energies. So if anybody is concerned about it, it and you think that if Rachel starts yawning it's not that she's bored listening to Angela it's just that she's yeah, already gone <laughs> <laughs> so she's not bored that word to me now and I'll have a yawn yeah she's not bored about listening to what I'm talking about it's about it's, it is clearing so I hope you enjoy what you see and if you have any questions please feel free to actually ask any of us what any time okay thank you right Angela over to you love thank you Joe. Hello again, Rachel. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, are you ready to do a little bit of tapping this morning? I am. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm under no pressure whatsoever, having just <laughs> um, been, been informed that I'm doing this. But that's, that's fine. Okay. Shall we just have a little bit of a tap on the side of the hand while we have a, I think, so... Is there anything specific you'd like to have a look at today? Yes, there is. Um, there's uh, an issue of, um, of control and, um, and of control, but I won't say any more than that for this, but just of control, which is really quite prevalent um, that, that needs some work on right now to bring some more uh, love and peace into that, if we can, please. So without going into too much detail, um, is the control something that you want to exert on others or that others are exerting on you? Uh, it, it's others exerting, um, not just on me, not really on me, but it affects me. The, se the sound disappeared then, Angela. Sorry, you cut out. I'm just saying, Joe is yawning already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I do uh, have issues with control, so it's not surprised on that one. Well, actually, just thinking about the environment that we're all in right now, you know, I think it's going to be quite prevalent as well for, for many people. So. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, coughing's clearing as well, guys. <laughs> so when you think about this, this control that someone else is trying to exert over you. Do you feel that somewhere in your body? Yes, it, it well, it's shifting already, but um, yes, it sort of starts off in the pit of my stomach and I can feel it sort of working up my chest. And when you think about that control, does it have a feeling associated with it? It, it does. It's like it's, I'm, I'm, it, it's under absolutely no way is that going to be happening again. <laughs> absolutely no way is that going to be happening again. Can you have to rate that feeling from 0 to 10? 
where it tends the highest, where would that be just now? It's probably it's probably about a four or a five because I do clear quite quickly, so it has subsided quite a quite a lot. It, I would say yes, last night it was probably a nine or a ten, um, but it has come down considerably since then. But it is it's still prevalent because it is is making me think back to certain situations. And that those certain situations I'm feeling in my chest now. I feel like I've got a lack of freedom. Sorry, the sound sound keeps cutting yeah, out. Sorry, my, my it's my microphone, as usual. Let, uh, let's start tapping on that. So even though. So even though. I feel this control in my chest. I feel this control <laughs> in my chest. <laughs> I accept that it's there. I accept that it's there. Because it is. Because it is. I accept <laughs> me anyway. And I accept me anyway. Oh, that's so just I. So as we can really see, the, as we can see, Rachel is clearing. Mm. So I've just realized, can bit. you hear the window? I'll just put this window. Very windy out there. So even though. So even though. There's this feeling of control in my <laughs> chest. <laughs> Oh, that's this feeling of control in my chest. And it's that really so tight. That is so dry. So dry and so tight. It's not tight, it's just dry. It's dry, like okay. really dry. Mm. Really dry. I feel like I'm losing the voice dry. <laughs> I accept that it's, it's like there. It's dried everything. It's like it's, oh, it's, like it's dried everything up. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I could retch actually. That's a really retch wow. type feeling. Wow. Mm. Are you okay to carry on with it? Yeah. So even though. So even though. There's this dry, retchy feeling in my chest. This dry, wretchy feeling in my chest. When um, I think of that control. When I think of that control. I accept that it's there. I accept that it's there. Because it is. <laughs> well, guys. I... Because it is. And I accept me anyway. I accept me anyway. So <laughs> as we can see, it's going through, it's going through Rachel as we're speaking. Mm -hmm. So just keep watching. Okay, so even though so even though there's this dry retching feeling in my chest. You know when you just really don't want to say something, but I'm going to say it. There's this dry retching feeling in my chest. I accept that it's there. I accept that it's there. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Because it is. Because it is. And I accept <coughs> me anyway. And I accept me anyway. Let's just push that through to begin with. This dry, retching feeling. This dry, retching feeling. This retching feeling. This retching feeling. I've lost my voice. I've lost my voice. This dry feeling. This dry feeling. <laughs> this retching dry feeling. This retching dry feeling. <laughs> it's in my chest. It's in my chest. It's so dry, this feeling. It's so dry, this feeling. This 
dry retching feeling. 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 This dry retching feeling. Dry feeling. This dry feeling. So as we can see now, it's clear in Rachel's voice. It's dry so. feeling. Retching feeling. This retching feeling. This feeling. This feeling. Of control. Of control. It's dry. It's dry. Makes me wretch. Making me wretch. Dry feeling. I really want to tap on here. Do you mind? Yeah, but, yeah that's fine. I really, I, th I need to tap on there. Okay. <laughs> this feeling. This feel losing my voice. <clears throat> my voice. Feeling controlled. Feeling controlled. <clears throat> And not in control. And not in control. So at the minute we're actually, we're actually tapping on the heart. In control. Feeling controlled. Feeling in control. But I've lost my voice. But I've lost my voice. I feel sick. I feel... Retching. It's more wretch than sickness. It's not in my stomach. It's it's here. It really is like a. What do I want to say? What do I want to say? That won't come out. That won't come out. What do I want to say? What do I want to say? That maybe can't come out. That maybe can't come out. What do I want to say? What do I want to say? What is stuck in my throat? What is stuck in my throat? What makes me want to retch? What makes me want to retch? So Angela's picking up on Rachel's energies. So she, when she, and also it, it could actually be doing a little bit of clearing with Angela as well. Because what we actually find is that when we're working with clients, that it can actually be something what we need to work on as well. So that could be one of the other reasons. What do I need to say? What do I need to say? And how do I need to say it? And how do I need to say it? How do I get back control? How do I get back control? What do I need to say? <laughs> what do I need to say? <laughs> Who do I say it to? Who do I say it to? Oh God, I can't stop wriggling. <laughs> Something's moving. <laughs> Something is shifting. Who do I say it to? Who do I say it to? And how do I get them to listen? And how do I get them to listen? How do I say it to them? How do I say it to them? In a way that helps them listen. In a way that helps them listen. In a way that helps them understand. In a way that helps them understand. What do I need to say? What do I need to say? Get rid of this feeling of retching. To get rid of this feeling of retching. Who do I need to speak to? Who do I need to speak to? How can I use my voice? 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 You sound again. Sorry. Do you feel alone in any of this or that you're just not listened to no i'm i'm very much at peace with this now uh, um i i know that just whatever i need to say just has to come from a place of love mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. always 
Okay. When I use my voice. When I use my voice. I speak with love. I speak with love. <laughs> go, Joe. I apologise, guys. <laughs> Let it rip, girl. <laughs> We're all clearing. Oh, my. <laughs> When I use my voice. When I use my voice. I speak from a place of love. I speak from a place of love. Always love. Always love. Always love. Always love. I speak from a place of love. I speak from a place of love. That's the only thing that works. That's the only thing that works. And I'm at peace with that. Oh, and I'm at <laughs> peace with that. Joe's working on that piece, Joyce. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe's, Joe's on the giggle nice stage. Okay. Okay. Let's go up here. <laughs> I'm at peace with that. I'm at peace with that. And I've let go of control. And I've let go of control. control. I don't need to control. I don't need to control. Or to be controlled. I don't need to be controlled. Because that's not love. Because that's not love. That's not from a place of love. <laughs> that's from a place of joy. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know these are really really excellent clearances this is this is like the detox that you might have from um from you know going on a really severe diet or lifestyle change or anything like that so as you're sort of clearing which um, everyone is probably joining in now because these were really quite deep issues that i needed work on because of what was happening and as, as you start to clear, if this is the first time that you've done this, please do not be alarmed if you're feeling quite um, tired, really, really, really tired, mm -hmm. quite tearful, um, hot, cold, all sorts of really physical things, shivers, uh, tremors even, as the energy starts to shift through your body, and that might happen for a really good week after doing this, okay? Either just get in touch with Angela, Joe, or myself, uh, just with that reassurance as to what is happening with your body, mm -hmm. um, because it, it is a physical reaction that mm -hmm. chemically happens through you as you transition from one emotion through to the opposite polar. So imagine a stick, and that <coughs> was at the end of, of that stick, and we've worked through now from me but because everyone's joining in they're also got their own sticks and they're, they're they're working on getting that now to the other end but then it eventually balances out in the middle so you do transition from from control through to um love and it balances out eventually but that is a process and that doesn't happen all in one tapping routine <laughs> it's just that we are very tuned into the energies now because we use it so often <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we all, and the beauty of it is, is that I now feel quite normal because uh, Angela and Joe are catching up to the clearances happening literally as you work on it. This is all this start, the burping parts only started about a fortnight, three weeks ago. It's just literally, but now every time I do it, it just, it's there. Yeah, really deep stuff, but it's obviously, it's creating that joy, isn't it? It's creating that giggle as it comes up, which is That's it. Really beautiful. Yeah. It's lovely. It really is lovely. Sorry, Angela, we're interrupting you as well. <laughs> laugh, laughter's contagious, so just enjoy it. <laughs> Holy gosh. Let's, let's go to the liver. Oh gosh, do we have to? Yes, hey. this is Joe's this is burpy point. Do you want to stand up, Angela, and just show them where this point is? Because it's a bit difficult. We're just, just under the nipple, a little dent in your ribs. <coughs> <laughs> Let it out, Joe. 
let it all go. Okay. Let it go. I could just add on as well, this is also um, quite near a lymphatic system as well. So although you're doing your liver um, meridian, you're actually really helping to clear out your lymphatic system here. So you're doing a bit of, uh, you know, double work, double the work on one point. This is my tell of clearing or picking up. It's like, I wriggle. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Rachel, we were doing something, weren't we? About <laughs> control and coming from a place of love. <laughs> I'm okay now. <laughs> <laughs> you two like oh. just doing <laughs> okay now <laughs> there was obviously something I needed to clear with control um, and, and, and I think it is going to be a big issue for, for everybody really um, so be gentle with yourselves and um, just be gentle with yourselves because you will clear in very different ways <coughs> until you're at a level that um it does react on that stick very, very quickly from, from, you know, it could be that one side's really weighed down. That control might have been weighing me down, which is why it felt quite heavy. Whereas now uh, I don't have any, I'd say that's a zero. Now I'm really quite happy with that. <coughs> really quite happy with that. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. Oh, I'm joining in myself. I obviously needed to do a little burp as well. I don't want you to feel alone, Joe. <laughs> There we go. <coughs> oh, and just, so, and just so you know, this is actually helping to clear that masculine feminine energy that's inside mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. So all of those things that as a, a female that we may have been told is, is not feminine to burn, <coughs> dawn and release, you know, but actually that is actually helping us balance that male female energy. I'm on a wing. <laughs> and the more we can find this funny, the more it actually helps. So, me one to me one to week guys is clearing. <clears throat> so if you need Can to go off to the loo or anything like that, you might feel like I was wanted to retch. You might feel nauseous. Okay, so you heard me physically lose my voice mm -hmm. because when someone is trying to impose their control on you, we do lose the ability to communicate properly. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's our voice. Sometimes it's through the written word. But whatever it is, so it. <laughs> It cuts off our communication if we don't help it, that control flow through us in a way that just releases it and we can come back to that place of love. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll, I'll stop on the liver because obviously the liver just gets me just every time. Mm. <laughs> so the, gallbladder, the gallbladder and the liver really do bring you back to that childlike self. Okay, mm -hmm. but you think about all the scriptures in everywhere across the world, it is really about being bringing ourselves back to that childlike joy, that childlife mm -hmm. self of, of just enjoying everything and being present and being okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think. On that note, I think we'll we'll close this session because we might need to gather ourselves. But thank you for joining us. Thank you.